What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Beautiful Saturday morning here. I got a repeat customer, okay? Like all of us do. Uh, I have a video out here how to patch uh, drywall, like a butterfly patch. If you look at one of my videos, you'll see it. But we're heading back in because the customer leaned down the toilet paper holder while he was getting up off the toilet and ripped it right out of the wall again. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna do the same thing. And uh, that'll be it. So let's grab our stuff. Hey, remember, if you have them, wear the latex gloves. You know, keep yourself clean. I, I know you've heard it before, but let's do the right thing. Let's get, you know, whatever's going on out there under control. And uh, most of all, most of all, people in the grocery stores, relax, huh? Be respectable to other people because you never know when you're going to need somebody helping you. If anything, you know, God forbid, were to go bad, you're going to depend on other people. Trust me. So let's all come together and let's all be the Americans we can be. Let's help each other. Let's not buy 15 uh, things of alcohol and leave the person behind you with none. You understand what I'm saying? All right, let's get in here. Let's take care of this customer. All right, here we go. Okay. You can see the damage. Last time I fixed it, you can actually see the patch. They didn't paint it. They were going to paint it over, but I guess they didn't get a chance to. So we're going to take this out. All right. You can see the damage. You got to use small mollies. And the reason being is right behind here is pocket door. Okay. So if you drill too deep, you're going to drill into the door and you're going to cause damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit. We're going to probably go with a four inch. I'm going to cut this out and we're going to put a patch in, which I already pre-made. You cut the back of drywall and you leave the front. And I'll show you how we do this when I put it on the wall. So let's remove that and make a nice four inch hole. All right, so you take your, your bit. I start it in reverse so it doesn't kick back on you. Get it going, and then you can put it in forward and go slow. A lot of guys, they drop their stuff back here. Don't, because you have a pocket door and you have tracks, and you just don't want to get it jammed up. So have it down here. Put a towel down, okay? So we take the patch I showed you. Cut the edges of the paper off. We're going to moisten. We're going to put some mud on here. And we're going to moisten the ends. And then we're basically going to put it right on top. And we're going to float all this. I'm using five minute mud. Okay. We're going to let it sit for five minutes. All right. So let me mix. What I do is, if you haven't seen one of these, it's a little mixing. It's a mud and more mix ball. Put a couple scoops of the mix. Comes with a little paddle. Gives you the uh, little scoops for water. It's, it's a good mix. Once you mix it, you, you, you make it you, and you squeeze it right into your little pan and there you go you got it all right so what I like to do is I like to keep a couple bags I got five minutes I got uh, 45 minute stuff all right bring a bag with me I'm gonna put a scoop of it in here then I'm gonna add some water and we're gonna hook this little this little paddle up it's like a cake batter thing to the drill gonna mix it up nice and I'm gonna squeeze it right into my pan We'll see how this thing works. If you're interested in it, it's a mud and more mix ball. If you go on YouTube, they have a couple of videos on this stuff. I'll tell you, it makes it nice and clean and easy. Then I'm going to just squeeze it into the pan. Yes, Sonny. All right, so you're going to put the mud around it, okay? After you squeeze it in. And we're going to take this patch here. And you want to moisten the back end, okay? And you're going to put it right on top, like this. Let it adhere to it. Okay? Then you're going to take your 6-inch blade. You're going to just skim the corners off. Ok, 
get all the air bubbles out. Okay. Doing this with one hand holding the, the camera, but you get the idea. Get a nice first coat, you know, skim all of it out, and then I'm going to take some and I'm going to go over this with a first coat. We're going to make it nice. Don't worry about being so perfect with the first coat. You can see it's a little messy. You're going to sand it down anyways. And the way to speed this up, even if it is a five minute, you get yourself a hair dryer. And as soon as it turns all white, because you can see it's a little dark there, you're ready to sand. And then we can proceed to put the uh, pieces back on the wall there. Now that it's dry and it's all white here, and it's, it's pretty uh, hard, you're going to take a block. You're going to sand these. It's going to sand it nice and easy. Don't go crazy. Just around the edges. All right. You want to blend that into the wall. And get rid of that stuff. Don't over sand and you can see it's starting to clear. It's going to be nice and nice and even. I'll go around all the edges and then it'll be ready for paint if they decide to paint it. And I'll mount the uh, hardware. And there you go. Smooth it out. Get these little imperfections. You want to grab your sandpaper, your block, and you want to go easy. You know, just go easy to get those little pieces, those little imperfections out when you prime this, because you have to prime. Once you prime it and you paint it, it'll fill in the tiny imperfections, but it's nice and flat. Feel it, it looks good. Look on angles, okay? That's it. There you go, it's finished, the hardware's on. It's nice and smooth. Once I paint it, you won't even see those marks at all. And that's how you uh, patch a hole in the wall. Quick patch job. Take care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and mostly like the video. Hit that thumbs up for me. All right? I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. Hey! There you are. What are you doing, son? Give me that stick.